Hey you, it's me, Miley, your online internet friend. <laughs> How are you today? Let me know. Um, this is Lady, the cat. So today I zoomed us out so you can see more of her because she's a little lower on the table. Yes, we are sitting on our coffee table, but it's fine. I wanna talk about our August favorites. Our August favorites. Ignore the mic, I know it's weird, but like better audio quality, right? You can hear my stutters better. Great. Um, August favorites because I really enjoy knowing what other people like and I want to see if this is something I would like in 10 years as well. I mean the same stuff that is. So uh, enjoy. So this is an all-time favorite. I've had this for a really long time. I lost my original one at school so I had to buy a new one. Rather my friend bought it for me and then she dropped it so now it doesn't sit stably anymore. It shouldn't do that, it should say still. Can you see that? I can't tell if you can see that. Um, but now it wobbles and it falls over when you do when you touch it at all, but it's fine. It's an insulated um, water bottle, really common. I think the most common one is Hydro Flask, but I like this one more because I find it a bit slimmer and it's less popular. Not that that matters, it's still, not that that matters. But I like it, I like that you can have different color lids. Um, you can't, we actually bought like a smaller one that had this color lid and then paired it with this black piece. So there's a little personality while still being, you know, slick. Next thing I want to talk about is scents. Um, this is my favorite perfume, which I keep it in its box. I'm not sure why. I think I just really like the box, but the bottle itself is freaking gorgeous. The back is pretty. The front is pretty. It smells great. I find that it doesn't last very long and I've tried to like spray it on myself. I tried the pulse points of my body being, you know, the back of the wrist, your back of your um, ear. It doesn't last very long, but it's just gorgeous. So I like to keep that. While if I want a smell to last, I'll usually wear it in perfume version, perfume version, lotion version. And this is from Bath and Body Works named Rose. Did I tell you what? This is from Nest, the Lilin Vines. Perfume. Is that how you say it? Oh, I sound like an idiot. The next two things I have go hand in hand. This is a vitamin C oil with rose oil? Vitamin C, I don't know what this word is, but um, it's an oil that my sister got for me for my birthday and you put it on your face and you, you know, drip drop, drip drop. And then you use this tool, which is a gua sha? Clearly not Chinese. I think it's Chinese, Mandarin, Cantonese. Um, but it comes in this little carrying case and then it's this kind of piece. It's similar to a jade roller, but it's in the rose quartz color. Not sure if it's real rose quartz, but looks like it. It's a hefty piece. I haven't found that it broke on me yet, clearly, because it's in my hands. And it's one of those things where you, if you look up a tutorial on it, you put oil on your face and then you use it to um, help circulate your anyways i wear glasses a lot let me show you which glasses i've been wearing i think you've seen this before but these are the glasses i wear and i find that i've been ooh, strong i've been scrunching my nose up a lot so i can like i don't know why and my face has been get, getting really tired so toss that on the floor so i'll like to um massage my face with this piece of equipment. I don't like the jade roller because I feel like you have less um, control. So this is where it's at. I've been really enjoying the Kat Von D. It's no longer Kat Von D. I think it's called KVD Beauty. Vegan Beauty? KVD Vegan Beauty? Could be wrong. I think I'm right. Um, and this is their tattoo liner in Trooper, the original black. It's, it's just, it works so much better than anything else. What I don't like about it is I find that it dries up really easily. Um, but easily, I mean like quickly, no matter how tight you keep the lid, it just, you use it for like a bit and then it's out, which is why I have so many. And I feel like they're all still on their last legs. I can squeeze a little bit more juice out of them. That sounds really gross. But yeah, that's why. So yeah, this is where it's at. I love it. I also like the noise it makes. Where's my cat? This is why I'm sitting over here, because a cat 
It was supposed to be here. Cat? Cat? Lady? Lady, come here. Lady, come here. Come here. Come here. Over here. Yeah. There you go. So since my cat doesn't want to join me, I'm going to finish off with my favorite YouTubers. One of them being Hoof GP. He's basically a professional cow pedicure artist. What do you call him? I don't know. Um, so he'll go and him and his partner will grab this huge machine and they'll go to the farms and you just see like really cinematic shots of him giving a cow a pedicure and you're supposed to do that on a regular basis so they can be healthy and they're basically walking on their fingernails all day and all night so he goes and he trims it and certain ones get kind of like this is gross but infected or like there's like something wrong happening and he'll go in and fix it and it's, it's really gross and yet so satisfying come here and guys, that is our August favorites. I hope you can join us next month for a September favorite. And favorites, not plural, not, not singular, plural. Um, and then maybe stick around, shoot me a message. That's what online internet friends are for. Yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.